Well, last night, Ohio voters approved the state constitutional amendment guaranteeing a woman's right to abortion and other forms of reproductive health care. As for the state of South Dakota, the future of abortion rights remains a subject of uncertainty. Our Kayla Henderson has the details on how recent political events across the country could affect South Dakota. On Tuesday, Ohio became the seventh state where voters decided to protect abortion rights after the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. 57% of the voters in Ohio said, we want our rights back. We want to be able to have some options, you know, and I get so, uh, frankly, upset when I think about what's happened in South Dakota with the trigger law. Now, if a woman gets raped or if there's a pregnation uh, that in, uh, occurs as a result of incest, um, there are no options for, for women or for young children. Dakotans for Health is working to place a constitutional amendment guaranteeing the right to abortion on the 2024 general election ballot. Rick Weiland, a co-founder of Dakotans for Health, says the decision on these rights should be up to the voters, not the politicians. We have a motto in South Dakota, the state motto is, under God the people rule. What we like to say is, yeah, absolutely, and we want the voters to decide this issue. Efforts to restrict access to reproductive health care in 2006 and 2008 were rejected by voters. We're going to collect enough signatures and the voters are going to have a chance next November uh, to weigh in on how much freedom they want, frankly. And uh, I think what we saw in Ohio is they wanted their reproductive rights restored, and that's what's going to happen now. To get their measure placed on the ballot, Dakotans for Health must collect approximately 36,000 ballot signatures, which is 10 percent of the total votes cast in the last general election. Reporting for Coda Territory News, I'm Kayla Henderson.